on the Glen Campbell Good Time Hour. Oh, yeah, well, Porter fired me. <laughs> and then the next day, I get a call from Glen Campbell. Uh, uh, so I, I jump. I jumped from syndication to network. <laughs> fact is, you were on uh, the Porter Wagner show when, when Dolly was there, weren't you? Yes. Well, thanks to Glenn Campbell, we're going to show you a couple of vignettes, a couple of uh, routines you did with Glenn to give these people an idea of what you used to do on that show. So could we roll these, please? Mr. Campbell, uh, I'm the new tailor that you... Uh, I understand that you want a new... Yes, I want wide lapels, a little flare on the bottom, uh, maybe four-button, double vent. Suit. There's something else. Uh, yes. Uh, excuse me, sir, but I am a census. <laughs> Take. And I want to know your vitals to stick... I want, I want to ask you some questions. Well, go right ahead. First of all, what is, is your, uh... Well, Glenn Campbell, I live at 306 Oakdale, and I'm married, yes. I have three children, I'm a homeowner, and I have two automobiles. Name? You had a lot of fun on that show. Oh, didn't you? yeah. <laughs> that make you an even bigger star? Oh, yeah. yeah. They know me in Australia, Hoss. <laughs> Mel Tillis had a wonderful career, both writing of any entertainer that sat in the middle of the Grand Ole Opry House with a pipe in his mouth lit. Well, uh, I'm me either. Why did you do that? <laughs> Well, I was enjoying it. Well, but nobody asked you to put it out. No. In them days, you could do that. Anyway, as I understand it, once you won, that you came up. Well, I wasn't expecting, you know, or I wouldn't have had it in my hand. I wouldn't, you know, because I knew I wasn't going to win. I was up against uh, some pretty strong candidates. All right, but you stuck it inside your coat pocket. I stuck it in there. <laughs> what happened? Well, when I got up on stage, and they handed me my, I was just... You know, I was just you flabbergasted, and I got, I said, I've got the famous case of heartburn. <laughs> and I looked, and it was just in, in smoke. <laughs> Boy. Now, now, you hit it very well. We're going to roll the tape. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful night in your life, and had to be, had to be one of the greatest nights of your life. Mm. And I believe Tennessee Ernie Ford is on stage. So let's go back to that night at the Grand Ole Opry House at the Country Music Association <clears throat> Awards. The nominees for Entertainer of the Year are Waylon Jennings, Ronnie Millsap, <clears throat> Willie Nelson, <clears throat> Dolly Parton, Mel Tillis. For Entertainer of the Year, the winner is, and I love him, Mel Tillis. I think I'm going to stutter. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'd. I, I, I want to go a long way uh, uh, back, and I'd like to uh, thank my aunt, uh, Eula Bell Tillis, in Pahokee, Florida, who uh, bought me my uh, first musical instrument, a fiddle, which I didn't uh, learn how to play it. <laughs> All I ever learned on it was hot cross buns and three blind mice. <laughs> but... Uh, I, I, I do want to uh, thank her and especially my band that has been so, uh, 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 such a great uh, bunch of, you know, to work with. They, they good guys. <laughs> uh, also, also, it's an it's, uh, awfully long uh, way from Pahokee. Florida to up here on this uh, stage at Grand Ole Opry, and I'd like to thank all of you for helping the old stuttering boy 
drive the bus. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.